Welcome back to another edition of Cannabis in Canada with Jason Wilcox, coming to you from British Columbia, Canada. And uh, man, I've got my Vermitee extractor. I've been using Vermitee now for approximately six months on a couple of different crops. Fabulous product. I mean, increased terpenes, flavonoids. Uh, I can't go on enough about it. Um, the thousands of pounds of worm castings it would take to actually make this stuff, um, for now I can make with just a cartridge. And we're going to get into this. We're going to because it's, it's very scientific. It's really neat. I, 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 being an organic grower, I've always looked at whether I wanted to try to make my own teas and look at stuff like that. But it was just too complex. Too many things were involved. Too many factors that weren't worth risking on a crop. Um, all that's now been eliminated thanks to Vermitee with this new extractor. And uh, not only that, you're increasing yield, you're increasing uptake, the stability of your root zone. I mean, your root mass in increase, it's just, you know what, in the root determines the fruit. I mean, it's just incredible product from foiler to medium. It doesn't matter how you feed. And you can't really overdose your plants with it, you know. And yes, it is hydro and it's also soil, which makes it such a versatile, uh, versatile, 100% organic product. Um, and really, I want to get into this. Just so, just so people understand the real value in this, the awkward part is that you have a 7 to 14 day shelf life. So, you know, I, I, once I brew my mix here, and, and we're going to go through all this, but once we brew our mix, you know, we got 7 to 14 days. We got to put in the fridge, 5 gallons. You know, um, that's a smaller cartridge, and then there's a 10 gallon cartridge. So it makes it a little harder if you're in a smaller room. But considering, um, you know, the plant counts that we have, it, it works actually good for us. It's perfect. Um, it certainly saves me a lot in cost in having to go down and, and, and buy it uh, just because of the sheer gas cost for me to get to my local hydro store. So, uh, straying off a little bit there, but here's an interesting note. The active biology within a half gallon of Verma tea is greater than that found in 1,000 pounds of quality earthworm castings. Now, I can't prove that to you scientifically right here, but I surely don't want to challenge Verma tea either. Uh, I certainly don't doubt their, uh, their, um, their, their stuff on their website. Uh, Vermitee has also been known to increase BRICS levels, which is quite phenomenal. The, the fungi found in Vermitee increases nutrient uptake, as I mentioned, not only by increase uh, the surface absorbing area of the roots, they also release powerful chemicals into the soil that dissolve hard to capture nutrients such as phosphorus, iron, and other. Uh, these beneficial fungi from a, from a a web that captures, assimilates, and stores nutrients to provide them upon the plant's demand. So what I sum that up to, a defense mechanism. I mean, I see a microbial uh, activity going on in the root zone and protecting it. It's like putting up a protective web around your roots so that all those non-beneficial organisms trying to get in there and eat at your stuff, they don't happen. Um, and there's a few more benefits. One, it increases your CO2, you know, if you're a CO2 user increases your CO2 uptake with a foiler application and of course properly applied. Um, and uh, the other things that's it's also interesting about this is that uh, it's preferred uh, using a reverse osmosis machine like I have on the wall here, it's preferred to actually use something like this to get rid of the chloramine and the, chlor the chlorine that's actually in, uh, in your tap water and uh, make sure that you got that run down to, uh, to use. But uh, they've also got their own that comes with the unit, which is right here, Vermologic. And these are actually disposable, which they're, they're, they're very handy for the, uh, for the average. When you hook it up to your tap and boom, you're ready to go. I mean, you, you can't ask for much better. A thousand gallons, disposable, um, you know, that's 3,800 liters, you know, so. I don't know how many crops that works out too, but uh, okay, so it's, a, uh, it's, it's like not a this. true reverse it's osmosis great. machine. This is something that we should note. Um, it does remove uh, enough of the of the chloramine and, and chlorine that you would want to, and uh, certainly make good drinking water. But uh, compared to the machine that I hooked up up there and the filters that I obtained, uh, just to give you an example, forty five dollars for one filter just for getting rid of the chlorine, the, the chloramine and the chlorine, um, not to mention other things. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit about that. Next I want to get into is the interesting part, and this is the cartridge. Um, this cartridge is actually made of cocoa husk, and, uh, and, and as I said, it has a 16 to 1 air ratio, 
And uh, there's actually an activator. And when I open this box up, I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, there's an activator that we, uh, we will put onto this cocoa husk, and I'll show you that. Um, and then uh, and, and that sits for 24 hours and uh, 248 hours and then of course goes into the machine which we will demonstrate as well and uh, and then you brew for 24 hours and then you bag uh, you got approximately 7 to 14 days in the fridge immediately after of course hit your plants with what you can and uh, go to the fridge but uh, we'll see in the next part when we actually get the boxes open and we can do a better demo for you so we don't waste your time with the fidgeting around. Okay, boxes. so we've got the cartridge out now, um, unwrapped. Uh, inside here you can see there's a cocoa husk. Well, what feels like a cocoa husk, only it's kind of weird. It's kind of a mushy, soft kind of cocoa husk. And uh, yeah, there's what you have to do with this now is apparently we just open this up and uh, we want to put what's called a wake and apparently that's and we put it back in the box so everything's done all in the same box which is kind of interesting you get I'll ask my camera lady to uh, film in on those for you those are the two products that come with it and they get used at different times now I've had to do a lot of research I don't usually use notes so I've had to actually use notes on this because of the sheer uh, science behind it and, uh, and it's right down my aisle Biodegradable, um, good for the environment, um, organic, what more could you ask for? Uh, I'm just ecstatic about it. Um, so anyway, once you got your cocoa okay, husk so here, yes. you then go uh, to so a well, you got to wake out, uh, and, uh, and apparently this stuff here, it says here that also included is bio cartridge is two ounces of a wake, which is poured into the cartridge, 24, and I was wrong in the earlier segment, um, it's actually 24 to 72 hours um, that it can actually sit in there. So what I'm going to do now is kind of shake it up like I think I would any nutrient following uh, some baseline instructions. It's also to be kept at room temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and start to allow this to pour in here and soak in. If you've ever worked with cocoa husk, you know not to pour too fast. Give a little bit of time. What this does apparently is awake all the all all the uh, beneficial bacteria. So they're just this gets them going and gets uh, apparently gets them active. Um, I'm still studying this. I'm certainly not going to pretend that I'm a, a, a microbial uh, a specialist by any means. Um, but certainly it, it's interesting to know that you use this first, and then you actually have to use a whole other thing, which is frenzy, um, at a later time to uh, to actually brew your. Uh, brew your cartridge if you have it. So I'm just trying to even, evenly. I'm just trying to evenly disperse this now along the uh, along the um, size, as you can see, of the cartridge. Um, 